Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> And Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the meadow. <laughs> Baby dragon. <laughs> Go on, Gaston. Fetch. <laughs> Good boy, Gaston. <laughs> Gaston loves his tummy being tickled. <laughs> Gaston is the best pet in the world ever. OK, girls, playtime is over. Time for your magic lesson. Aw, do we have to? Yes, Strawberry. Now, who can show me some magic? Um, I can make an egg appear. Eggs can be quite tricky, but have a go. <laughs> Ugh, stinky! Ugh. <laughs> hmm, it looks like you've magicked up a dragon's egg. Nanny Plum! Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum! I can't find my crown. Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my wand? Nanny! Oh, I'll have to go. The dragon's egg is hatching. My dad says dragons are dangerous wild animals. And they breathe fire. Oh, I'm scared. Let's run away. Aww. Isn't it cute? Hello. Oh, it's so sweet. <coughs> Gaston, be nice to the baby dragon. <coughs> Bad ladybird. <coughs> What shall we call it? How about Cuddles? No, he should be called Fang. Yeah, Fang. I like Snuggle Bunny. Fire Claw. What about Dave? Dave the Dragon. Yay! Dave, that's your new name. <laughs> Dave has got really big paws. That shows he'll grow much bigger. What do you want, Gaston? Oh, all right. Fetch the stick. Wow! Aren't you clever, Dave? He wants his tummy tickled. Aww! How cute! <laughs> Dave's the best pet in the world ever. Aww! <laughs> Where's Gaston gone? Oh, I don't know. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We've got Dave. Princess Holly! Home time! Oh, I've got to go now. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Holly, the dragon's following you. No, Dave. You have to go home now. But where is his home? You magicked him up. I guess he hasn't got one. <laughs> Never mind. He can come home with me. <laughs> dee dee da dum dee dum dee do. Dee dee da dum. Nanny, nanny. Hello, you two. <laughs> ah, a baby dragon. <laughs> his name's Dave. He's going to live here. I'm sorry, Holly. There's no way the king's going to let you keep a dragon. Oh, look! A baby dragon. Ha <laughs> ha! Isn't he cute? Can we keep him? Of course. Why ever not? On second thoughts, get that dragon out of here! Aww. Dave can live in my house. I'm sure my parents won't mind. Good. That's sorted. Come on, Dave. Ben, are you sure your parents won't mind? They'll be fine. But maybe Dave should stay out of sight at first. All right. Dave, stay. Good boy. Dad, remember you said 
I could have a pet in my room one day? Yes. Maybe it is time you had a pet of your own. Something small to start with. What about an ant? Or a goldfish? Yes. Or what about a dragon? Dragon alarm! Fire-breathing dragon! Dragon alarm! Save the elf tree! Sorry, Ben. We must all help. The elf tree is in danger! Dragons breathe fire! Phew! Looks like everything is under control. Anyway, back to your pet, Ben. What was it you wanted? Uh, it was the dragon. <gasps> you can't have a dragon in your room. He could burn the house down. It's the most dangerous pet you could have in a tree. Apart from woodworm. It's OK, everyone. My son is taking the dragon away. Oh. <laughs> Where can Dave live? How about Gaston's house? Yes, it'll be nice for Gaston to have a friend to stay. Hi, Gaston. We've got a visitor for you. <coughs> Look, he's drinking Gaston's water. <coughs> He's sleeping in Gaston's bed. He's making himself at home. <coughs> ben, you don't think Gaston minds sharing his home, do you? No. I think he's pleased to have a new friend. <coughs> Look, Dave got bigger. Oh. We'd better get him out of here while we still can. Hush! <coughs> I see the baby dragon is getting bigger. Yes, Nanny. And it's impossible to find anywhere for him to live. Hmm. He needs to go home. But where is his home? Dragonland, of course. Mind you, it's a long, long way away. My dad can fly us there in the elf plane. He'll be happy to take us. What? Take a fire-breathing dragon on an aeroplane? Never! The dragon's back! Sound the alarm! Get that dragon out of here! <sighs> All right, then. Load the dragon. Ready for takeoff! How's the dragon? Not breathing any fire, is it? Dave's not silly, Mr. Elf. He knows not to do it in a plane. Everything OK back there? Uh, yes, Dad. Don't do it again, Dave. <laughs> Nanny Plum, where is Dragonland? Dragonland isn't marked on any maps. It's the only place the dragons can get some peace and quiet nowadays. Here we are. Dragonland. I'll open the back of the plane. <laughs> Get ready to chuck him out. Chuck him out? Dad? He can fly, can't he? Oh, all right. I'll land. But we mustn't stay long. It's so hot here. And everything's burnt. Yes. Dave feels right at home. Marvellous. Uh, let's get going then, shall we? Nanny, how big is a grown-up dragon? Think of the biggest thing that you can think of. And it's bigger than that. Bigger than a horse? Much bigger. Bigger than an elephant? Yeah, you're getting there. Wow. A grown-up dragon is ginormous. Right then. Home time. But we haven't said goodbye to Dave. OK. Quickly. Goodbye, Dave. This is where you belong. This is your home. <laughs> Don't worry, Gaston. Maybe Dave can come and visit you. <laughs> wow! More dragons! Lovely. Well, maybe we should be thinking about leaving. Can't we stay a bit longer? No. Run! Bye-bye, Dave. <laughs> right. Fast seatbelts and off we go. Whoa, looks like we got away with that one. <gasps> nice dragon. Don't be fire now. 
Don't breathe fire! Nice dragon! Oh, it's a bit warm in here! Let's open the door and get some fresh air! Gaston wants to play! Here, boy, fetch the stick! Oh, the back door is open! <laughs> Gaston's the best pet in the world ever! 